So one of the first things that we're gonna do is practice this sit down, two step, roll back. It's essentially a spin move, right? But it's a little bit different than just standing up and spinning. So like we talked about yesterday, I don't think we've done this yet. I don't think I worked this with you anymore, but here's a spin move, right? Quick little spin, we're kind of standing straight up tall, right? In this version, we are sitting down on it we're kind of crossing over and jumping into it. So essentially, say if you were my defender right there, hold right there, and I want to stop on a dime, I'm here, and then I'm here, right? So that's a lot different than just going, stay there, right here, right? If you notice the differences in those two different spin moves, one, I'm kind of standing up, it's a little bit quicker, right? The other, I'm sitting down, that really works well, especially when we go hard on a drive and then drop, okay? Um, I sent you that example. I sent your mama the example, that's right, yep. Yeah, if you watch that Grant Amend breakdown that I have, he goes hard and then he quickly drops, right? His levels, okay? And then plants, pushes off, and then goes. You can do a lot of counters out of that, but we're gonna work the base form right now. So here's what we're gonna do for about two to three minutes, we're gonna start with just the footwork and mastering it. So you should be a little fresh on that. I mean, you should have a little bit of, you know, more experience on this because we worked that a lot yesterday. So it should be a little bit easier. So drop your sticks behind you. Let me show you what we're gonna do. Basically, we're gonna be rolling and going this way to start. We're gonna start without the sticks, then we're gonna pick up the sticks just to master the form, okay? So if I wanna roll back to my right, okay, I'm gonna have my left foot back, right? And it's gonna jump and it's gonna cross over. So I'll go super slow, one, two, see that, start looking this way, switching to the hands when we get our stick to, or keep it in the same hand, okay, push, roll, done. Does that make sense? So as we start going a little bit faster, we'll do this all together, a little bit of a stagger, jump into it, hold. We're just gonna hold right there for a quick second. Release, done. Do that a couple more times. Really just work on keeping your balance and holding right there. Get into a nice sit down position. Make sense so far? Good. Then after that, we get really good at jumping across, okay? Now, using that plant foot to push us and to propel us. All right, so let's start right there. We're gonna be all going this direction. Left foot back, sit down on it a little bit. We're gonna walk very slow into it and go my speed. Ready, step. Go and step across, hold. Make sure we're starting to sit down a little bit on it. Bring this one across, done. And don't step on the octagon now. <laughs> All right, and again, ready, sit down on it. Oh, wait, I didn't say go, I didn't say go. We're gonna go at the same time. Come on, this is gonna be a YouTube video. We gotta make sure it's all coordinated. And go. One, two, hold. Release, good. And again, ready? Two more times like super slow. Ready, go. One, two, hold. Sit down, good. Last one slow, just really get it, really push off of that back foot, right? Because again, that's what we're gonna be doing, okay? And we have to master it. Go. One, two, hold, release. Now we're gonna go faster now. Here we go, ready? We're gonna really push and get our hips going. See that? Go. Release, and again, ready, go. Release, go. Oh, a little bit faster there, homeboy. Release, there we go. Go, release, good. Now, we're gonna add in the run. Excuse me really quick. So again, we're gonna be here, so there's no, gotta be no pause. We're gonna go right into our run, so here. Make sense? You can run down just a little bit too. Ready? We'll go slow on it on the run too for the first two reps. Slow, go. One, two, go. Turn the corner, good. Here we go again, ready? Turn the corner, make sure a little jog, okay? Ready, go. Turn the corner, stay tight to the corner because in the game, if we're pushing out wide, now that defender that we just lost because we didn't cut them off and seal them, they're pushing back on us as well. That make sense? So, don't go all wide, stay tight to it. Ready, go. 
Sit down. Good. Let's go a little faster now. Now we're gonna sprint through it. When we get to this, again, I want you to sink. I want you to drop that level, right? Because I don't want us to be here. It was a bad footstep, sorry. I don't want us to be here. Standing straight up, I want us to kind of get almost into a 45 degree angle because if we're running super hard, we're not gonna be like stationary right here, standing straight up. It's gonna be like this. See that? See, I'm using my butt too. That's gonna seal off that defender and also provide a little bit of protection. Okay, ready? Fast, go. Turn that corner quick, good. And again, here we go. Go. Love it, here we go again. Quick, 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 quick. Also, by the way, because you guys are kind of close to each other, you gotta go fast or else the next person's gonna get you. Same thing. Go. Yep, quick, 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 good. Get your sticks, let's go. Boom, and a ball. Now, let's work on switching our hands, right? So we're starting with our left. Once you hit the roll back, hide your stick. Then we're going from there. Ready? Go. Good, I love it. And again, here we go. We're gonna do it five times, five times. Ready? Go. Good, ooh, Houston, so fast, so spicy. Ready? Go, fast. Good, really be powerful in pushing off and getting out of that quick. If we can run super hard, and we're gonna get to this, we're gonna run into it very, very hard, okay? And then go as hard as we can out of it, that's really gonna help. It's really tough on our knees. If you could do it on grass, which is a softer surface than turf, it's gonna save your knees. Ready? Go, fast, come on, sit down. Good, couple more, two more, two more. And then we're gonna switch the sides. Ready? Go! Woo! Last one, last one. Work on really transferring that stick. Quick. Go! Love it. Oh, man down. Charge. There's no charging in guys lacrosse, right? You just run through them. And girls lacrosse are charging. Guys, they're like, eh, no one cares. Run through them. Bull dodge them. Okay, good. So now, everything that we just did with our right, we're gonna do with our left. Make sense? So, going back, rolling back to the right, now we're gonna go to the left. Now I'm gonna let you go with your sticks to start, but we're gonna follow the same cadence. Slow, get it, hold, and then go fast. So, as a refresher, this is how we're starting, excuse me, okay? Here, right foot back, right? Stick on the right side, one, two, hold. We're gonna do six reps of that speed. And get a little bit faster. The next six reps, we're going faster. The next six reps, we're going into the spin. The next six reps, you know what I mean? I think we should be able to get it. So, here we go. We're gonna go with the first rep, nice and slow. Ready, step, one, two, hold. And reset, good. Ready, step, one, two, hold. Good, and again. So as we're doing this, make sure we are sinking to the appropriate depth. It's gonna look different for all of us. Some of us can sink a little bit more than others. So again, one, two. Really get that plant foot out there to push back. Ready? Go. One, two. Good, last one, and then we're gonna go into the roll. One, two. All right, so now we're gonna go into the roll. First five, slow. Next five, fast. Okay, Keelan's gonna call it again. Go, one, two, push, done. So there's no pause in it, right? Go, one, two. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, and I think we could just go without the one, two now, right? Because we all kind of get that. It's in, ingrained in our head now, right? Go. There you go. You gotta put it on? Dog. There we go. You gotta get in the frame too. See, you got me bougie. Me he, he said I gotta get in the frame. It's you two. Perfect. Ready? And go. Good, but now we don't want to come what? There you go. Ready? Go. There you go. Way better. Ready? Go. Good job, but you have to pick up that back foot. Okay? Ready? For How's your hand transition speed? Is it pretty good? 
good. Are we getting there? Yeah, just keep that in mind. Hands got to move fast too, right? Bam. Ready? Go. There you go. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. Ready? Three more, three more, three more. Go. Let's so go, here's what we're doing next. Now we are applying pressure. Me and Kilana are applying pressure. If you want to grab a stick or the pad, your choice. Now we're going to attack inside, roll to the outside, fire quick. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm going to give you an example of what that looks like. This is the center line. Do not cross it because we're going to be working from that side and this side at the same time. We're going to get maximum reps for like 10 minutes. Really working on pressure and driving hard, okay, to really get in that defender to lean. Does that make sense? And again, we call this an advanced dodge clinic. It really is because there's a lot of little subtleties, a lot of little nuanced things that we really got to get in this thing. And if you master it, you're going to be baller, okay? Then after this, we're going to mix in the next dodge, okay, the next pattern, and then sync it all up, okay? So let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to start with Kilon. Kilon's going to start with me right here. You said a pad or a stick? Yeah, can I do choice. both? You can do both. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to start slow. We're going to start under pressure, okay? So Houston, actually, we'll start over here. Come on over here. So we're going to start under pressure. He's going to be in my arm already. I am going to drive down towards the middle, right? If I go hard enough in this scenario, he should be driving down hard enough too. And I'm going to pump the brakes. I'm going to roll back. I can either run down and fire or I could rip it right after. Does that make sense? But we have to sink and we have to push and create that separation. It doesn't work if I just go at half speed. I mean, it kind of does work. I mean, you just got to figure it out on who's playing defense on you. So he's going to put that pressure on me. I'm going to drive into it. Notice how I'm already at this angle. I go right, sit down. That's the first stage, right? If I leave the stick here too, are they getting on my hands, my bottom hand? Most likely. So keep it here, right? Now he's going to stay there. I'm going to come out and I'm going to fire or I'm gonna run in. In the second iteration of this, we're gonna add in your hitch into a shot on the run. That makes sense? <laughs> yeah, you'd be all right, you gotta get. He said, if I hop into it, the defense is going to push me over. That may be so. Yeah, Come here. Let's just say you're right here and you're not really moving at speed. I can really get under and lift, right? For the boys specifically, right? But now if you're moving at speed, right? I can't really plant and get under unless I'm like DK Metcalf. I can't really do that unless I'm super strong. Okay. Because again, this works off of the defender's momentum. If you go hard, right, and just walk, we'll, we'll walk because I'm not going hard. You go hard and then all of a sudden you stop on a dime. There's no way, unless I, I'm not going fast enough. Does that make sense? You have to assess every situation as it presents itself. Some defenders are gonna sag off and play a little bit back based off of reads and also film study. That's a little bit higher level. Some defenders are just gonna go hard on your drive because they're trying to recover. The first dodge is gonna set this up, and then this is gonna be our secondary move. But we gotta master the secondary. All right, here we go. If you don't sell it, they're not gonna buy it. Go. Ooh, Bam. did you practice that shot? 